look at those robots go. I don't know what match it is, but they're going. Uh, team 68-61 kind of moving on to the charge pad for the Red Alliance. Well, Team Night Vision balances on the Blue Alliance charge pad in the last second of Autonomous. And now that the teleoperated period has begun, we have Team Night Vision going to the highest level of the Blue Alliance grid, scoring a cube successfully for the Red Alliance. While alternate reality, the Robo Jacket B team getting their gears together and trying to place a cone on the high node for the Blue Alliance. And we have Team TNT, our host team, up and running this match. They're chasing down a cube, pushing it toward the Red Alliance grid into the hybrid zone with less than 90 seconds remaining. Team Night Vision jumping across the charge pad, going to the human player station for the Blue Alliance. Try and do a floor intake or something. Night Vision pushing some cones out of the way while their alliance partner, the Robo Jacket B team, also going toward the human player station. And 1501 burning some bright lights on their robot as they head toward the human player station as well with 50 cent kits remaining. The Blue Alliance has a lead against the Red Alliance. Team 68-61 going back toward the Red Alliance grid as Team Hollywood shoots a cube into the hybrid zone, followed by their Alliance partner, and that means there are less than 30 seconds remaining in the match. Team Night Vision going up to the high level but not placing their cube while 1501 prepares their level climb for the Blue Alliance. The Red Alliance has two robots leveled with 10 seconds left. Team Hollywood is trying to place a last minute cube with less than five seconds remaining. We have two on the blue and two for the red. And here come the scores. The Blue Alliance wins this match, leading the Red Alliance 112 to 65, earning three ranking points for the Blue Alliance.